people in this country. to have a wee. Uh, particular Mush's camp uh, out here in Juneau, these, uh, these dogs, a lot of them have run the Iditarod before. Uh, the Iditarod's the, the thousand mile race across uh, Alaska. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are upcoming superstars as well. They've got ones that are just, uh, a lot of them just over a year old. Got all the more experienced ones at the front leading the team, and then uh, the pups then are heading towards the back. They'll uh, develop over the next couple of years into into lead dogs, but the smaller ones then will be up towards the front. <laughs> and they, they're awesome. But they're, in the race, you have 16 dogs to start off with, and then you have to have a minimum of 12, and you just race and race and race. And these guys can run for up to 100 miles non-stop. They don't do that obviously because they don't want to tie them out, but they can do. Amazing dogs. Kind of a mix between Siberian Huskies and a lot of other breeds. They tried to kind of mix a couple to make, well, these mutts, but they're Alaskan Huskies now. And they're a little bit smaller, a bit thicker fur, but they can, they're a bit more durable as well, so they can run for longer. Amazing animals. It's always you know, so inspiring to hear people talk about the races that they've done and you know I do a little bit of endurance stuff but not as nearly as much as I'd like to do and hearing about the Iditarod and the Yukon Quest, a thousand miles through the middle of nowhere, like there's no roads that lead back to you know civilization once you get on the on the trail over there. So yeah, it's uh, it's something I'd I'd like to do more of I think. I think that when I get back home I'll be get back in training for some kind of endurance race. Start off in the UK and then work my way abroad. After that marathon is started, it's definitely one of those things, but I, I hate the heat. <laughs> so maybe one of the, the colder endurance races up here in Yukon might be, you know, might be the way to go. We'll wait and see. So these guys are now around three months old. They're bigger than the puppies we saw <laughs> the other day up in Skagway. And the dad is actually run the, uh, the Yukon Quest and uh, he completed that. And the mum won uh, completed the Iditarod. So these guys hopefully are going to be those no superstars when they're uh, when they're older. They got a long way to go. A lot of training to do. And a lot of time to find out if they're leaders, if they're followers, if they've got the back or around the front. They are just the cutest. But you know what? They learn to, need to learn to respect their gear, respect their, their mushers as well. But I know that they'll take good care of them. That's it for another uh, puppy excursion, or to see the dogs anyway. And best luck to all the teams. You now, Shaney doing the Yukon Quest in 2017, Rob doing the Ed Bid Road next year, and all the rest of them. Uh, you know, I talk about adventure quite a lot and you know, what exploration is, what adventure is. These guys are hardcore adventurers, you know, going out into the outback for 1,000, 1,100 miles with nothing around, you know, that's proper hardcore. 